Some of you probably recognize that as the one man julep from the songbook of one of the greatest American rhythm and blues and soul and jazz musicians of the 20th century. He actually made it to the top of the pop charts, the jazz charts, the rhythm and blues charts, the soul charts, and the country western charts with uh, his hit, You Don't Know Me. I'm speaking about Ray Charles, and these students did a fine job playing the blues. I had, uh, I had the fortune of playing for a short time at the Count Basie Orchestra, and the first thing you do when you get on the Basie Band is if you're a guest or it's your first night, you're the first one to take a solo. So what we thought was we would uh, put the band out there in that fashion. So let me introduce all these fine soloists. Before I actually introduce the soloists, I think there, our secret weapon in the band, our secret weapon in the band was left off the program. Her name is Ashley Doan, and she plays the baritone saxophone. <laughs> It was so secret that she was a secret weapon, even she didn't know that. <laughs> we featured getting it started off and swinging with authority and grace and style. Isabella on the trumpet. Isabella. And Nick, Nick swung out on the, on the bridge. Very nice job, Nick. Mason on the alto saxophone. Sierra on the trombone, all the way from Gavinport, Iowa. Playing a wonderful solo, Artine on the trombone. Artine on the trombone. And then Gabby played that beautiful tenor saxophone solo there. And then let's see, who was next? Oh, it was Austin. Austin on lead alto saxophone. And finishing out was Preston Fox on the guitar. And uh, we have a saying in jazz, you can't lose with the blues, and when you get in trouble, play a shuffle. And that was both. That was a blues and a shuffle. And shuffling the band uh, in, in just a high, high uh, quality fashion was McKenna on the drums. Thank you very much, McKenna. We're going to continue on now with an arrangement of a composition by Vincent Yeomans called Sometimes I'm Happy. It was arranged by the great Al Cohn who was not only a great tenor saxophonist, but a prolific arranger, and a great sense of humor, I might add. For those of you who remember Europe before the Euro, one time someone asked Al Cohn in the morning, they're on the road, they say, hey Al, how you doing? He says, great, I feel like a million lira, which is about a buck fifty. So anyway, great sense of humor. We're gonna feature the youngest member of the band on the trumpet, Preston, to play trumpet on Sometimes I'm Happy.
it seems hardly correct to be in Indiana and not play something by one of Indiana's own great jazz musicians. And we'd like to play a piece by one of the fiercest guitar players who ever walked the earth, but one of the most gentle souls as well. And I'm speaking about Indianapolis's own Wes Montgomery. We'd like to play a new arrangement written by Mark Taylor of the classic of Wes Montgomery's called The Road Song. And on this, we're gonna feature Preston Fox on the guitar, Anthony on the tenor saxophone, and two wonderful trumpet players who are playing lead in both jazz. That's Nate on the trumpet, Nathan. And all the way, all the way from Florida, Trevor on the trumpet as well. We hope you enjoy the road song.
thoughts on Shakespeare. This is such sweet thunder. We're going to feature on this. Oh, I think uh, yeah, Asher's going to play drums on this. Excellent. And our, uh, our three players for the Shakespeare play are Trevor uh, and Preston and our team. They're going to they're gonna do their dastardly deeds on the, uh, on the brass instruments. And then uh, we're also going to feature our saxophone section. So without any further ado, we hope you enjoy Such Sweet Thunder with some interlude of blues solos by Trevor and Preston as well. And 
also, what a wonderful job. I gotta tell you, that trombone solo that Logan played, I said, Logan, just learn the trombone solo off of the record. I believe that's Lawrence Brown who played that elegant solo in the middle of all that gut bucket playing. How about it for Logan on the trombone? It's that time of the day where we have to say this is our last piece, and uh, I'm so sad to say that uh, this will be it for uh, one season, guys. It's been lovely. I've enjoyed you all very much. Wonderful playing. You guys had a good time? Yeah! Me too. Me too. Wonderful band. How about it again one time for our two new trumpet players? Nathan and Trevor on lead trumpet. Now, we're going to play a last piece. This is entitled The Kid from Red Bank, and that was the nickname of William Basie, that is Count Basie. Can you imagine? He's growing up in Red Bank, New Jersey, about 40 minutes out of Manhattan, and it's the early 30s, late 20s, and he's learning how to play jazz piano, and he says, I'm going to go to, to Kansas City to make it in jazz. Seems rather counterintuitive to leave New York, but in fact, in the early 30s, Kansas City was the center of the jazz scene in America. And uh, so when he got to Kansas City, he was known as the kid from Red Bank, and that nickname stuck. We're going to feature our kid from Red Bank on the piano, Nick, to play the part of Count Basie. You ready, sir? McKenna is back on the drums. How about it one more time for McKenna? And Asher. Asher. Take a bow, Asher. Yeah, there we go. And uh, the real boss of this band, the bass player, holds, holds the fort down. She's doing a great job. Please give a round of applause to Alex on the bass. <laughs> Thank you again to Mr. Buzelli and all the entire jazz faculty. You all are wonderful to work with. And of course, Music for All and Yamaha. What a wonderful way to spend a week here in Muncie, Indiana. All the best. Here we go.